Yes, sir. Dub sitting in in the building with my man Bumpy B. How you doing, my man? Oh, man, I'm good. How you doing today? Hanging in there, man. Tell us a little bit about your movement and the music you got going on. Right now, man, my movement is Close Range Entertainment. Close Range Entertainment is like um, basically a close relationship with all my people, you know what I mean? All Everybody support cast as far as um, my family members, as far as everybody that's part of the movement, anybody that's part of the fan base, I'm going to be at close range with every single one of them, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to touch with everybody, man, help everybody's dreams come true, because everybody do something different, you know what I mean? So my job is to try to help everybody out that I can, man. What's the name of the movement? Close range. Close range, close range. One word with a K. Got it. Okay, so um, what's your role in, in the movement? You're an art, you're an artist, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about Close Range Entertainment, some of um, the members, the movement. Close Range Entertainment, man. Right now, we have we are connected with Banks Management, which is my uh, management company. Um, Close Range right now is about four artists, all with the same goal, you know, to make sure that we touch other people with what we talk about and build on that to help people fulfill their dreams no matter what that can be, you know what I mean, so. So is it just music or does it expand into other? It expands into music, it expands into as far as um, we help out, we make, we got food, we make out for homeless, stuff like Whoa. that. We also, um, at certain times where we have a clothing, so we just pass out clothing to people, you know what I'm saying, people that need it, we go out and give clothes. We don't give it to regular people, we go out and give it to the homeless, <laughs> you know what I mean, let them wear it, put something on their back. We try to make sure everybody, you know what I mean, could, that we reach people. I right. understand what we're doing out here. Right? Okay, Bumpy, let's talk about you as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit where you're from, where you hail from, a little bit about your story, my man. Shit, I'm from Inglewood, California, man. I lived in a few different cities as a kid. Inglewood is my home base. You know what I mean? I went to school there. Um, okay, uh, you're from Inglewood. Yes, sir. How, how would you describe your style, my man? You know, Inglewood's come a long way through the years. The Mac 10, you got the schemes nowadays. Yeah, yeah. How would you describe your style? I mean, I, I, came, I came from Mac 10 era. You know, I listen to Mac 10 and all them real tough. You know what I mean? Like, but I believe my own style is what I come with. You know what I'm saying? It's aggressive, slow, it switches up, it's very versatile. I can rap to any track, get on the beat with anybody. I can hang with anybody. I can compete with the best of them. So I feel like. I can do that in every genre as far as music. It ain't just hip hop. I can write it all. Yeah. Got it. Tell us a little bit about your experience growing up in Inglewood. Man, uh, Inglewood is a, you gotta have it in you, you know what I mean? To walk around them streets over there, I tell you that for sure, man. You ain't just gonna be no regular dude walking around there. You gonna get messed with, somebody gonna talk to you, somebody gonna hit you up, you know what I mean? You just gotta be prepared for it all. I mean, it's not the impossible, you know what I mean? You just gotta make sure as a man, be a man first, man. That's what I can tell you. My best advice growing up was just be a man. Be a man first, you know what I mean? And handle every situation like that. And uh, yeah, that's that's the way I kind of grew up off of it. You know what I'm saying? Just being a man first. Um, you know, every 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 street you go down is somebody different. So, you know, it's just, you gotta know how to react. You gotta know how to fluctuate and make it through the streets, man. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta be the toughest guy out there. Mm -hmm. but you ain't gotta be soft either, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? At least show you got some heart, some backbone behind you. That's all it is, you know what I mean? Okay. Um who are some of the artists that you work with uh, today? Today? Um, I mean, you know, up to this point, you know, some of the people you work with. Uh, man, I mean, I, I'm known for doing a lot of solo music, you know what I mean? I, I'm known for doing all, a lot of stuff myself, but I've worked with um, artists like Red Rum, you know what I mean? I've worked with Big Y. Uh, got a new song coming out with Fig Newton and Big Y on it. Um, I've worked with a few people, man. My boy Doonworth and... Uh, a few other artists. Yeah. Um, tell me about uh, some of the people who've inspired you and also some of the people you would like to work with. Uh, well, who inspired me? Yeah. I, I, I got different artists, man, that grab me from different ways. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to lyrics and bars, I listen to Crooked Eye, you know what I mean? I listen to Slaughterhouse. I listen to them real tough, man. They, to, them, to me, they sharpen my tool all the time, you know what I mean? And um, as far as my West Coast, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big old Ice Cube, Tupac, you know what I mean? I came from that era. Uh, as far as the new guys, I listen to TDE. I listen to all the TDE guys, you know what I'm saying? And um, I like Scheme. I listen to all the, you know, a few Inglewood artists too. And uh, But, you know, mainly I just, I kind of listen to people who are gonna 
sharpen me, you know what I mean, make me better at what I do, you know what I mean? Right. I try to learn from everything I do. I don't just listen to people that ain't gonna tell me nothing. Right, okay. <laughs> tell us about the project that you got coming up. Well, I got a, um, I have an album ready, mm -hmm. I have an EP ready. I don't know which one I'm gonna drop next, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, might, I might not even drop it yet. I'm still figuring out what, what I'm gonna do, how to do it. Make the people wait a little longer, you know what I mean? Make them, make them demand a little more. Um, I got singles coming out, you know what I'm saying, with different artists right now. Next, I got a new one out right now called Proper Introduction. Say that again? Proper Introduction. Proper Introduction. It's out on all platforms, featuring Big Face Bugatti, man. It's a real smooth vibe, West Coast type track, but it also is uh, well written and it's, it has, also has its bars and stuff to think about in there also. It talks a little bit about my life, how I get down, what I'm doing now, you know? Right. Real stuff. You mentioned working with Big Y, Red Rum, some real respect to people in the game. Yeah. Um, what's your opinion on the way the game is trending currently? I mean, it's trending because that's what that's what that's what music does now, man. It's like it's not gonna stay still at all no more. It's gonna keep trending, going up. It's gonna change. There's so many different people coming out. That's versatile, doing different things. And you know, uh, majority of the young people they they got a hold of it right now. You know, what I'm saying? they know they 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 they're the ones buying it and putting people where they're at, the artists. You know what I mean? So you just got to make sure that you can keep up with the Joneses, as they say. You know what I mean? And uh, do something to keep people interested. I try to still do me without having to like totally. do something else and go off somebody somebody's uh, style or right, right. follow their trends. So I try to do me and still try to keep the vibe. You right. know what I mean? But. Um, it can happen, man. You just gotta know what you're doing and you gotta do your homework. You know what I mean? I try to do my homework as much as I can, man, and learn everything I can about this game, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Top five MCs, man. My top five? Yes, sir. A lot? Uh Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive? I mean, <laughs> Tupac is number one. Gotta be. Just by impact. Nobody ever gonna face that impact. Nobody's ever gonna get that kind of impact in the world again. It's not yeah. gonna happen. It's not going to come now. It's not nobody <laughs> alive right now that's going to get that impact for sure. You know what I mean? So, to me, he got to be number one just off that alone. Um, I listen to Eminem, man. He's an MC to me. I like MCs. You know what I'm saying? He, if you don't, if you, if you know about, if you like MCs and you don't listen to Eminem, something ain't right. You know what right. I mean? So, I listen to him Lyricist. as far as like lyricists, his groups. He come out with the Slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. um, I listen to Kendrick Lamar a lot. You know what I mean? He always get brightens. You know what I'm saying? Something in my light bulbs come on in my head. I'm listening to Kendrick, you know what I mean? So, as um, far as the new guys, I like Conway. I like West Side Gun. You know what I mean? I bumped them like tough, you know what I mean? They'd be surprised how much I know their music, you know what I mean? So, I plan on one day at least trying to get in the booth with them cats, you know what I mean? Something like that. And as uh, uh, far as down south, man, I'm more of a, I'll say, TI type of guy. Uh, UGK, Scarface, all the old school cats, man. I don't know, most of them is the ones I kind of vibe with the most, you know what I mean? I relate to them a lot. I speak a lot of my music, Ghetto Boys, you know what I mean? And as far as the new cats, I would say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. I, I, I ain't just stuck on none of them like that where I just be like, oh, I'm going to bump him. Like, I just check him out and most likely I'll keep on going. Yeah, man. Like, keep right. on going. Just check him out, keep going, man. So, okay, after you drop, who's up next? After I drop my after, music. Yeah, after you drop your music. Uh, my boy LB, Close LB. Range Entertainment. Mm -hmm. He'll be coming, uh, my boy with WHY. They got a uh, single coming out called Grow Man. That'll be right behind me. Okay. And um, besides that, I have another artist who should be. This EP should be ready by the summer. Okay. And um, we're gonna work on that right now. I mean, I'm trying to make sure he's fully committed, you know what I'm saying, to what he's doing, because as far as the music he has, all that, it's just about getting him on board with the movement, you right. know what I'm saying, and making him be around. So mm -hmm. we're working on some things with that right now. Dope, dope, yeah. boom. New video out right now, I'm Bracken, man. It's shot by Wolf Mind Visuals, right? Came out a little bit last year. Rest in peace to man, the guy that shot it, man, you know what I mean, my boy. It's crazy, man, the Scooby ain't here no more, man. He was in the video with me, you know what I mean? He's right there by my side. First time meeting him, great guy, man. And um, that that's the last time I seen him. And that's the last, every time I look at that video, I think about him and his presence, you know what I mean? So go check out I'm Bracken, man, and um, support Wolf My Visuals, man, you know what I'm saying? Pray for him, and uh, just, it's a message in the video also. 
We don't want no suckers, you know what I mean? Keep it real. Just check it out for yourself. All my social media, Bumpy Bars. Snapchat Bumpy Bars, Instagram Bumpy Bars, Facebook Bumpy Bars, Twitter Bumpy Bars, Bumpy Bars. Y'all got that? <laughs> Holla back, tap in, I answer all questions, I respond fast. Holla at me. <laughs> The release date for the uh, for the album. Uh, release date for the album is coming soon. All right. Perfect. Be looking on look for. Just follow me. Follow me. I'll let you know. Perfect. Man. Yeah, we'll we'll look forward to. Okay, Bobby. Uh, to get the fans a little bit of taste of what they can look forward to, man, on the new project. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, man. Uh, let me say, uh, my mafia's on militant. My militant is ignorant. My ignorance is heaven sent. My heaven sent is resident. My levels ain't not ready for. My ready they not level for. I never hit a level four. It's levels to my levels though. Hey, I've been rocking with new bees since these niggas was new bees. He put up on some two threes. I hopped in with two threes, nigga. The truth has been the light since. I got work from the white fence. That's back when I was like 10. I wish I had it like then, nigga. The shit is not the same no more. But the same shit is on the go. They said when I'm gonna make it broke. But that's the only thing I know, nigga. Still looking for fellatio. <laughs> I think I need her on a daily dose. The qualifications of a lady boat. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna say no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna give them too much, you know. Bumpy B, Dub CNN, in the building, baby. <laughs>